Are you in or approaching menopause and struggling to lose weight or in menopause and still struggling with symptoms? Well, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my top strategies to deal with this. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, weight loss, and wellness. So in today's video, not only am I gonna talk about some weight loss strategies in menopause, but also these strategies will help you if you're still dealing with the symptoms of menopause. So as of the shooting of this video, I am slowly approaching quickly, I should say, approaching 49. So menopause will be here before I know it. So I am definitely staying on top of all of my strategies so that I can prevent things from happening once I reach menopause completely so I can relate to what you're going through. First thing I wanna talk about is what's actually going on when you do hit menopause. So lots of things are changing within your body as you probably can already tell. A lot of it has to do with your hormones being imbalanced. Mostly a lot of your hormone levels are declining. Estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, your adrenal hormones, DHEA, things are declining. But one thing that's not declining in most cases is your insulin levels and insulin is the fat storage hormone, so you may have noticed that you are storing more fat now than you ever did before. The number one strategy that you have to start working on, and the first tip of today, is you have to start balancing your blood sugar. What exactly does that mean? Well, it starts with diet. You have to start eating foods that are gonna keep your blood sugar stable throughout the day, and one of the number one strategies for that is to cut the carbs and sugars out of your diet. So a lower carb diet, a higher fat diet, even a ketogenic diet. Not saying that you have to do keto 100% of the time, but keeping the carbohydrates low and the fat higher will help you get from meal to meal in a more stable way and keep your blood sugar balanced, which will also keep your insulin levels low, which will help you avoid gaining extra fat, especially around the midsection. So diet is key with this, so you're gonna to wanna to reduce your consumption of refined processed foods, carbohydrates, sugar, things like that, and you're gonna to wanna to increase fat foods that are healthy fats in particular, okay? So I'm gonna to get to that in the next tip. Strategy number two is you're gonna to wanna to lower your cellular inflammation. So over time, the body struggles with inflammation and also with toxic overload. So by the time you hit menopause, if you haven't really been taking care of yourself with diet and lifestyle, your cells are struggling in many different ways with toxicity. The hormones are not gonna be able to get into your cells properly. So you're gonna to have to look at lowering your inflammation. This obviously can be done with diet. So you're gonna to wanna to avoid inflammatory foods like we just mentioned refined processed foods, sugar, genetically modified foods, things like that. And then you're also gonna to make sure you're getting healthy fats into your diet. That's really, really critical, is getting the right kinds of fat, things like avocados, or avocado oil, coconut oil, coconut products. Even organic pasture-raised animal products have a healthy fat profile. So you wanna make sure that your omega balance is there too. In our diet, we're getting way too much omega-6, and those are coming from the refined vegetable oils like canola oil and soybean oil. So you're gonna to wanna to avoid vegetable oils like that. Olive oil is okay, but canola, soybean oil, all the oils that they use in restaurants are gonna be high in omega-6, and on top of that, they're genetically modified. So you wanna focus on eating a healthier fat profile, okay? And then on top of that, for the detox part, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are doing like a yearly detox. At our clinic, we do a yearly detox from Standard Process. If you want more information on that, put Standard Process in the comments, and we'll let you know all about our yearly detox products that you can try for yourself. So that's critical too. And another detox that you want to, might want to consider is heavy metal detox. We do a hair test in our clinic to determine if you have high levels of heavy metals, and then we give you a protocol for that. So heavy metal detox is important as well. We want to get the cell's health as good as we can so that everything else can work in conjunction with that. So lowering inflammation, and another way to do this is one of my favorite tricks, and it's what's 
been keeping me at my uh, goal weight now for quite a while is intermittent fasting. So that is a great way to lower inflammation overall. There's many, many different benefits to doing intermittent fasting. Um, I have other videos on how to get started with intermittent fasting, so please check above and see the link there. But intermittent fasting basically means that you're eating during a restricted time period. So in other words, you might skip breakfast and only eat between the hours of 12 and eight. So you're eating like lunch and dinner. So during this period of time when you're not eating, your body is able to work on other things like optimizing your digestion, repairing your cells, and overall lowering your inflammation. So intermittent fasting is a great way to do that. Even prolonged fasting, so going 24 hours, or 48 hours longer fast. These are also great ways to lower your inflammation. Now, in the beginning, it might be really tricky to do this because you're not used to it and your blood sugar might not be balanced, so it might be even harder. But like I said, over time, the more you get used to it, the easier it gets, the better you're gonna feel, especially mentally. You're gonna have a lot more clarity in your thinking, your energy is gonna be better, and you're not gonna need as many calories, and overall, you're gonna just naturally start losing weight. So this is a great strategy, and it's completely safe to do at any age, even at menopausal age. So don't be afraid to try intermittent fasting. So like I said, I'm gonna to link to some of my other videos on these type of topics. Now in part two, I'm gonna get into three different organs that you really need to focus on in menopause to help with weight loss and to help with menopausal symptoms in general. So please stay tuned for part two and I will see you then.